Hi, this is Joe from Wayscar Ford in Isuzu. We're going to talk about this 2025 Cybertruck. Let's dive in. The regular Cybertruck and there's a Cyber Beast. The regular Cybertruck makes, I think it's a little over 500 horsepower, really fast. The Cyber Beast makes over 800 horsepower, even faster. That's like zero to 60, three seconds. You're going to, you know, out accelerate a lot of sports cars going zero to 60. Tesla designed a new form of stainless steel uh, to use on the Cybertruck. It's very hard. It's very strong, and yes, it is even bulletproof to small caliber fire firearms. The glass isn't bulletproof. The cyber truck is a full-size pickup, and it is still very capable. This bed might not look big at a glance, but when you come back here, it's actually a really large, fully functional six-foot bed. And then check this out. You can hit this button right here. You have a power tonneau cover. This thing works great. It works fast. It doesn't bind up and get jammed. And it's like a vault when it's closed. This thing is really strong. Pull this lever right here. You have a sub trunk. Uh, it also has a drain plug, so if you want to use it as a cooler, uh, you're going fishing, you can put ice in here, put your uh, your day's catch in here. Then we have a power frunk, which is even more cargo space. Another nice thing about this for tailgating, or you call it frunking, it also makes a nice seat. And look at this, you have a little roof over your head to keep you out of the rain. It might look a little bit dramatic on the outside, but the inside is actually very toned down and comfortable and extremely spacious. You have a ton of headroom in here. It is completely uh, steer by wire. There's no mechanical connection to the front wheels. It's all handled by commute computers, electric motors, and it allows for variable steering. So watch this. I just turned the wheels completely all the way to the right lock to lock. I mean, it, you can take tight little turns in this big truck with the rear wheel steering. It's so easy to turn and maneuver in this thing. That's why it has this little teeny steering wheel. You don't need a lot of leverage to move this thing around. Some, like I drive every day, I've driven 40,000 miles in full self-driving, and it was scary at first, but it's gotten so better. Tesla's used all the data of all the people driving other vehicles in full self-driving to train the software, make it better and better to the point where it's pretty close to being able to drive itself. We might see in the next year, that a vehicle like this might uh, might be able to actually drive it by itself. It can go park itself, drop you off at the mall. Uh, maybe uh, you want to take a nap, you want to work, talk on the phone, watch a movie while you have a two hour commute into downtown Seattle or wherever you live if you have to commute. That's all time you can get back. How much would it cost you to have your own personal driver 24 seven to take you anywhere?